Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden. Welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. We're opening tonight's show with a very special award presentation. I know the Super One doesn't like this kind of attention, but his incredible accomplishments have to be recognized. So without further ado, let me present the star of our show, Super Dave Osborne, and Mr. Bernard Rockman from the International Television Video Association, who will honor the Super One. Mr. Rockman. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. In the relatively new world of television video, there was one record that everyone believed would never be broken. That record was the incredible amount of sales of Jane Fonda's exercise tapes. Well, it gives me great pleasure to announce that in October of this year, Super Dave Osborne surpassed all Jane Fonda's record sales with his unbelievably successful trio of videos, Stretch Aside, Pat Aside, and Squeeze Aside. He's already doubled Jane Fonda's record, and I'm pleased to announce today that Super Dave Osborne's exercise video has just become the first tape to go triple platinum. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I really appreciate that, and this award belongs more to my fans than to me and to a young man who's my right hand, Mr. Donald Glantz. Come on in here, Donald. Uh, this is the man who came up with the ideas for the videotapes. And I owe it all to him. And there's a beautiful award. Wow. Well, well, actually, uh, Super, I may have the ideas, but, uh, well, you bring them to life. Well, thank you very much. And I want to thank my millions of fans. And Mr. Rothman, I hope I can wear the crown as well as Jane Fonda did. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great pleasure of making a special announcement. The Super One is foregoing his stunt this evening. And instead, he's going to present a special thank you gift to his millions of fans. Super? Well, Mike, you said it exactly right. I'll be doing a video right here on television a brand new one, and I'm allowing you to tape it. That way you don't have to go to the store and buy it. Mm, a phenomenal offer from a phenomenal human being. Well, thank you very much. Mike. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rothman and Donald. You'll put that in my office. Thank you very much. Okay, if you'll turn on your tape recorders, we'll get started. Don't forget to always start with stretch a size. All right? And then pat a size to get the blood going. And then squeeze a size to make sure the muscles are loose. All right, I'm very proud to present my brand new video right now, Super Dave Osborne, Pound a Size. Pound a size. Super Dave, Pound a size. Uh-oh. I thought I was doing this with Richard Simmons. Pound a size, Pound a size. Oh. Super Dave, Pound a size. Donald uh, Glanz, could I see you a minute, please? Can I talk to you a minute? Oh, good go. You beginners, take a break. Uh, uh. Look, Bigfoot, you're starting to piss me off. Uh. Uh. I thought Oprah Winfrey was big. Uh. Let me ask you a question. What is that aftershave you're wearing? Goat pile? Oh, I don't want to be rude, but does that bandana you're wearing mean you're a little light in your loafers? I guess not. Where'd he go? Here he comes. Oh, happy new year. Well, that ends the video, I hope. How you doing? Great, fine. Send me toward the camera, will you, Mongo? Go! God! Oh, it's gonna yeah. be a big seller, Super Dave. Yeah, you did a great job, Donald. Thanks. Clean out your locker when you get a chance. We need your history. Oh, boy. Sensational, spectacular. Oh, yeah, that was fine. Remember, you beginners and you older people, uh, don't do this all at once. Take a rest after the body slammed in the face. Well, that was great, Super, but I was really kind of hoping that the Canadian giant would finish it off with his famous bulldog. Well, he didn't, Mike, and uh, we got to go to the show That's my favorite move, I'll pal. Oh. 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 I did it. Oh, that was great. There's a phone call for you. I'm going to stay here and play with you all day, but I got a show to do, and we'll be right back. Uh, someone tell that big <laughs> if he touches me again, I'm going to torch his <laughs> Welcome 
welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. Tonight, featuring Donald Glenn, the Canadian Giant, Ron Lucas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the star of the Super Dave Osborne Show, the one, the only, Super Dave Osborne! <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we've got a great show for you tonight, one that's very interesting. And before we get into it, I have to share something with you. I know my staff promised that I would answer some questions from the audience, but earlier in the week, well, we'll hold the questions. Uh, earlier in the week, the network called, and they said, uh, Super Dave, it's Sweeps Week. And I didn't know what Sweeps Week was, so they said, it's Ratings Week. And we'd like you to make a little simple adjustment in your show. And I said, what do you want me to do? And what they asked for was so ridiculous, I can't tell you. So I'm gonna show you what they wanted. First of all, I'd like to introduce the real Super Dave Osborne crew, the man behind the television portion of our show right here. It's Louie, Sid, Gary, Jack, Heidi, and Danny. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. And now what I want to show you is what the w network wanted me to do. This is the way they wanted me to introduce my crew. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my Sweeps Week crew, the Super Dave Osborne crew. supposed to say that that's Danny and that's Louie and that's Sid. Well, anyway, obviously we're not going to do that. Could you shut the bulb, Walt? Thank you very much, Sid. <laughs> what made me laugh is that they would think that I'm going to do that on this show. Uh, what I did is I said, look, call Love Boat or call some other show that does that. The Super Dave Osborne show is never going to take a man and turn him into a beautiful woman because it's sweeps week. Um, anyway, let's go to our questions. Uh, does anybody have a question? You, sir? Yeah, Super Dave, uh, what makes your show so special? You know, we can't get the boom to this man to hear him. Could I have someone else, just anybody else, ask the same exact question? You, miss, could you ask the question? Yes. <laughs> could I ask you what the question was? Super Dave, what makes your show so special? Honesty. We're honest here, and uh, we thank you very much. So again... Super Dave will be back in a moment. Sandwich should be. I'm absolutely thrilled to introduce this next young man. He's a graduate of my Super Dave ventriloquism school, and he uh, also won the first Super Dave Star Search contest. He's uh, sensational, and you're going to absolutely love him, the fabulous Mr. Ron Lucas. Get out. No. Get out of the trunk. Hey, no, run. Hey, ow! Lucas! Do you not... Hey, you know something? You gotta learn to trim your nails. And you know, you have got a cold hand, you son of a... <laughs> well, hell, it's an audience. That's right. You guys answered the ad. Right. Uh, 
Did you run an ad for an audience? Yeah, it said, wanted, large, kinky crowd, full horny, puppet, and virgin ventriloquist. <laughs> I'm not a virgin. Ron, what you do does not count. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is nice. Look at this. Good acoustics, huh? Can you hear okay? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, 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 my, 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 nay, 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 nay. Dilly, dilly, dilly. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> You can echo, yeah. Hey, 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 woo, 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 woo. I can echo anything I want to. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Echo the word ventriloquist. I don't want to. <laughs> it's because you can't do it. It's got too many syllables. Uh, uh, we're going to move on. Ventriloquist, dummy, 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 dummy. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to get back to the formal introductions. My name is Ron Lucas, and this, this is Buffalo Billy, and... Okay, one, one, of, one of the few times... What are you doing? I don't know, but it works. Will you sit up? <laughs> this is just like a real show, isn't it? Isn't this great? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at her. She's cute. Hi. Woo. Where are you looking? See the lady sitting next to the geek? Hello? <laughs> Where? Right there. Hello. Woo. The blonde? Uh huh. That's her boyfriend. The guy on the leash? Yeah, come here. Come here. <laughs> are you married? <laughs> Doesn't she look married? No, she looks happy. Okay, Billy. Billy. <laughs> Is this how you pick up women during our act? It's easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All you do is make eye contact like this. <laughs> I don't blink. <laughs> then you say something like this, watch. Hi. <laughs> Too bad you don't have a great pickup line. I do, watch this, watch this. Hi. Can you use an extra hundred dollars? Billy, Billy, <laughs> Billy. Look at her, she's nodding her head. No, she's not. Look at her husband, he's nodding her head. Come here. This, this is enough. Hey, Ron, Ron. What? Uh, can we, uh, can we sing our song? Song? Uh-huh. Uh, we, we, we don't have a song here. No? No. No, see, we, we don't have a song. See, this is a TV show. We're, we're not, oh, look, it, it is TV. Hello? Want to have fun with the camera? Watch. Hi there, how are you? <laughs> Don't do that. Hello? Say it again. Hello? Hello? Testing. One, two, three. You're out of sync. I think we're stuck. What do we do? Get my note. <laughs> Does that work? I, oh, yeah, I, I'm back in sync. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Ron. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I sound like a puppet. Oh, God, I sound like a nerd. <laughs> If I hit the nose... Yeah, go ahead, try it again. <laughs> Do I have my voice back? I, I, I got mine. Oh, good, we did it, we did it. Yeah, good. Thank you. <laughs> How do you do that? I'm a honky. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I want to sing a song. Like what? Like what? Name, name a song. Well, we could try the famous row, row, row test. Oh, no, 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 not, not the row, row, row <laughs> test. Yeah. <laughs> Want to do it? No. No. Is Jim? Who is that? Jim? Are you there? Yeah. Okay, could you start? Just do a vamp, okay? Any kind of vamp. You ready? About a hundred years ago, a ventriloquist claimed he could do both parts of Roar or Your Bow, but that's a legend. The guy's gone now. We don't even know if it could be. If it, we don't know if it's true. We're going to do it tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get down. Stay there. I'm not going to help you in this. 
Ron, you think you're making me talk, do you not? I am making you talk. Then why the hell are you arguing with yourself? <laughs> On the count of four. One, two, three, four. Row, row, row. Your boat row, gently row. Down the row, the stream, your low. Merrily, gently, merrily, down the merrily stream. Merrily, merrily life. Merrily is but merrily a dream. Merrily life. Row is but row a dream. Row your boat row, gently row. Down the row, the stream, your low. Merrily, gently, merrily, down the merrily stream. Merrily, merrily life. Merrily is but merrily a dream. Merrily life is but a dream. proud of this young man, I can't tell you. And the real reason, I have to tell you something. Uh, Ron suffers from something that a lot of ventriloquists suffer from, and that is they are unable to speak as themselves. They always need their little friend. Ron always used to have Billy when he first came to my school. He would only talk to me through, through Billy, with Billy on his hand. And now I see him out here tonight. I am so excited, and you've come so far, I can't tell you. Thank you, Super Dave. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks to his school, I am a single human being once again. Oh, let me out here right now. Let me out. No, you're not in charge anymore. It's mine. I'm my own person. Suther Dave, thank you. I love you, Suther Dave. Thank you very much. time left this evening and uh, I'm a little afraid of doing this because I've never done anything like this before but my staff said I should try an improvisation uh, as you know everything I do is planned my stunts are planned that's why they're successful and uh, <laughs> and to come out here and risk something that I'm not very adept at is very chancy but I have my own show so I have to do things like that and this is an honest show so whatever happens, happens. I'm asking you to bear with me because I'm going to try to do something. Whatever you request, I will do. And so can we have the, the, can we have the house lights up, please? And uh, I'll take requests. Uh, yes, you? Would you stand up, please? What is your name? Uh, Sarah. OK, Sarah, what would you like to see Super Dave do? Um, I've never seen Super Dave sing a song. <laughs> well, well. There's, there's a reason why you haven't seen Super Dave sing a song. <laughs> what song did you have in mind? Uh, La Bamba? No. Um, uh, first of all, I, uh, there's 11 reasons why I won't do La Bamba. One, it would take me eight months to learn the song. It's in another language. And so if I did it, people would say that it was not an improv, that it was a fake. And two, it would look like I'm trying to capitalize on the movie. So I, I don't really want to do that. And besides, we don't have any props for that. What I'm hoping is that you'll ask me about maybe I could cook something, because we have a little barbecue. We have some props like that. <laughs> so if you have anything. And I really don't think you want to see me do La Bamba and make a fool of myself. Uh, Jack, can we throw anything in there for La Bamba? Do we have anything backstage? All right, uh, I just want to do a little bit of it because, and then we'll go on to whatever you'd like to see. Tell me when you got something. Okay, okay, we got something. All right, here's a little tiny bit of an improv La Bamba, and bear with me because I haven't prepared anything. <laughs> Yeah. 
thank you very much. I'm sorry I wasn't prepared for the improv, but if we had done the barbecue, maybe I could cook some steaks or something. This is the best I could do. Tune in. I'll try something else. Yeah. Good night, everybody.